Hello guys, so today we are going to learn about how we can create a application, AI application in Android using Jimny APIs, Jimny Pro. So now Google has announced that we can directly use the API of generative APIs of Jimny and using Google AI Studio to create an Android AI app. So let me show you quickly how we can do it and let me show you how the app should look like. So this is how it's going to look like if you ask a question, uh, like just like ChatGPT, if you ask what is Android or what is Flow or like this and you click on go, you can see it will generate that how it is uh, like how the chat chat gpt respond it will show you the response so it is just mm, created using our jimny api or generative ai sdk in android so for this what you have to do i have created this demo so for this what you have to do just click on new and then new project and it will show you this option uh, jimny api starter and to utilize this option, you have to update your Android Studio to Jellyfish, latest Jellyfish or, uh, version that is either you use beta or if we have another option available. So if we, you can use to update your Android Studio to that version, then you can you will have this option to create Jimny API starter uh, application. When you click on next, you will uh, just get this option and then you have to click on generate api key for, for with google ai studio so when you're going to click on this you will have an option it will redirect you to do google ai studio here you can click on create api in a new project and you just need to copy and paste that api in your local properties and you will have this application so for this you just need uh, uh, like some device which is on latest APIs and then you just need to run this and you will get this option and you will have a quickly you will have this uh, sample ready with uh, API, this AI API integrated if you go to like Gradle you can see the uh, this this API of generative AI API has been implemented so you can just directly either you want to like you are using this Kotlin Gradle, you will see like if you go to Libs version, you will find this Android X core where it is. It's been generative AI 0.2.1 and this uh, API should be listed there in your Gradle. You can find it uh, where it is generative AI. It's been implemented and uh, you can directly use this uh, in your project and you can create this implementation and you can create the api uh, the uh, apps which are using this generative model directly so it's uh, right now it's in uh, not uh, completely it's in preview version you need to look at uh, you just play with it and also if you want to use multiple uh options like you want to uh, search for another modules you can click on import sample and then you just need to look for uh, here if you look for generative generative ai it will give you this samples you can try and play with them generative ai sample for kotlin these are the all if you want to use with compose you have the options and you can try i also imported one of it and if we run this uh, on our device you can see and uh, like it will give you all the three options like if you want to try the text one which we recently checked then you also have the option for for text and image input if you it will allow it will give you the option to upload an image uh, for example, you can upload and you can ask the question what's what is in this this image something like this you can try it will give you some details so you can try these samples and you can play with it. So this is the quickest way you can start using this AI API. This is showing me an alien hand. So this is an preview version. So 
uh, it's actually my hand i don't know why it's showing me and it's an alien hand but yeah you can try this and you can play with the uh, right now the api and sometimes when you create this you uh, and sometimes when you create this uh, api it will take some time to get activated so you can just directly like you can wait for it and then you can start using it otherwise it will show you the error something bad happened and yeah how this is how you can use so in the same this example as well if you are going to uh, see it will show you this uh, generative ai client with generative ai and you can try start using it so that is how you can create a quickest um, uh, like sample which is using this generative ai apis and how you can directly start implementing in your android applications if you want to create something uh, fun that's all for today guys thank you see you soon